<laughs> he either looks short, like yo. he wet his pants or that he's a hunchback. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dun, da, dun. that is our uh, that's our fl our uh, our frisbee. All right, go the gnat. That looks like a nasty tree to climb. It's that time again. Morning! And it's that place again. The Kyle Family Vlog. Hello, good morning and welcome to today. I am busy making a nice, uh, I don't think I can even call it brunch anymore. I think we're just doing like breakfast for lunch type of thing, but I'll show you. It's going to be delicious. But before I show you the beautiful meal, this boy thinks that this is a drink. It's oil. Um, it's still sealed, don't worry. It's, even if he gets the cap off, there's still the plastic seal. But uh, he's been carrying this around the house for about 20 minutes now. Oh, good job. And apparently he brought something to Sean. He pulled this from the kitchen pudding. We went and got food today. And uh... He wants all of it. He wants all of it. Are you really into food today, huh? He's a foodie. Oh, just like us. Okay, eggs, potatoes, and ham. These are refried beans, and that's hot oil because I'm going to fry some taco shells too so that you can have it like taco style. So we've already been out and gone today doing errands. Um, and that says not to show you the floor because it's covered in uh, groceries that we haven't put away yet. I put away a bunch of them, but our kitchen is so small. Look at that. Nat? What? I am the captain of this ship. What do you want? Tell me how small our kitchen is. It's about as small as uh, my heart. A ship? Yeah, this is probably about as big as a ship's kitchen. That's why it's called a galley kitchen, bro. Oh! Um, you idiot. My mind was just blown. Galley kitchen. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. It makes sense to me now. Uh, anything else you want to say to the camera? Yeah, breakfast, uh, lunch um, thing is ready. <laughs> I'm so it's excited. Ready. Did you make beans too? Yes, I did. Oh my gosh. So, eggs, potatoes, beans, Sean's and request. tortillas, and cheese, and ham. And, and ham, and peanut butter. I don't know why the peanut butter is sitting there too. That's I'm not going to put. Oh, that's for tips. Tibbs and Nat are doing the the feed himself game. Nat cuts it up into little pieces and he takes the fork. Oh, she put that one on there for him. But he did two by himself. He yeah. did two by himself and he's been getting uh, the past uh, week or so he's been doing more and more like feeding himself and getting he can use the spoon sometimes and the fork and what are you doing? Are you done? No, I'm going to do some more. You can do it. He's starting to get a bit distracted. <laughs> what are you doing now? Huh? Anyways, he's also, we were just talking about now he, we're hearing so many words regularly from him. Light, hecky, banana. Like he knows a ton of words that he's now just spitting out all the time. Hi. Stay on. <laughs> It never works when the camera's out. <laughs> Here you go. You can do it. Yes. All right. Try again. Come on. Oh, good job. There you go. Yay. Hello, good morning. We are at the dump. Today we're at the gross transfer station dump because Rocky Top is still closed. It's been like two weeks. They had a fire in a mulch pile and I guess it's kind of the type that's smoldering and it's taking longer to put out. So you can go and access half of their business which is purchasing the new materials but you can't access the dump piles yet. So we have to come to the dump 
which is a bummer because it costs twice as much. Ah, it's further away, but that's where we're at. Guess I ought to go help Sean. Ta-da, I have my truck back. Yes! So we just got done with uh, this job. Yay. Uh, she was really nice. Um, and she gave us a $15 tip, which... Cool beans, yo. Very kind. Um, and so that was fun. Tibbs fell asleep while we were doing it. And uh, just brought him back. I took him off. His mom was baby wearing him. So I took him off and I put him in his, uh, in his car seat. And he wakes up as I'm putting his car seat or his straps on. And he wakes up, looks at me like he's wide awake, goes off on this like couple sentence long string of words, which I'm starting to understand a little bit of the words, but I still don't understand a lot of them. But it was like, yeah. And he pointed at me and said a couple other things. And I just closed his eyes and went back to sleep. It was like, we'll open his eyes, four sentences, close his eyes, and he's out. Oh, so cute. Yeah, and once again, I have to rave that A, I have the best baby in the world. He is so well behaved. B, we just cleaned up a yard that had been really torn up from dogs. Really? It's like, oh my gosh, seriously torn up. And I complain about my dog decently often. I love my dog, don't get me wrong. But I complain about him all the time. Like, I told him to sit and stay, and he only stayed for five minutes instead of six. So it feels like. Anyways, I, uh, he's very good, and I look at I, every time we take him for a walk. I watch everybody else's dogs, like just simple little stuff. Like I tell him, "Nope, stay with me," and then instead of going and trying to stay high, he stays with me. While everybody else's dogs that goes past are like walking their owners, pulling on the leash, going crazy, stuff like that. So I look at all these other dogs that people have, and I'm like, eh. My dog is really pretty good. I've got a really amazing dog, a really amazing cat, a super cool wife, an amazing baby. Like, I mean, I'm just blessed. We are at the mall. We still have one other little job to go do today, but Nat's aunt had wanted to get together today. Nat had mentioned wanting to get together with her a couple days ago. And so we, uh, we were out by them and we said, hey, you want to get together in there at the mall? So we're going to go hang out at the mall for a few minutes. Yep. Hey, little Tibby. Hi. Hey. Tibbs, look up here. Hi, buddy. We're home. Yeah. We worked our butts off today. I mean, I say that a lot. I'm just proud of us because we hit it and like our list of things to do Probably got done about three hours shorter than it probably normally would have. We, we killed it today. And now it's the weekend. Yo, we killed it. All right, guys, I feel a little lost in my house right now. I'm done with work. I've done everything I wanted to do for today and for this week. But I still have some stuff to do for our online business stuff. But that's, you know, that's kind of just a few hours here and there. We've eaten. The baby is in bed. It's only 7.30. I'm done with work. I don't know what to do with myself. So to get ready for tomorrow, I got Ruby Ruby Volume 2, because we're watching one tonight. Made sure that was in uh, the the VCR, so we can watch two in the morning. Um, the Got the, the Chupa's tin of toys that we take with us when he, we take him to work. Um, got that, and that's right next to the bed, so that we can wake up and um, I'm going to be hard boiling some eggs. We're going to just have an easy hard boiled eggs, yogurt, fruit, something like that. Breakfast in bed. The Chupa will have his, the baby, the baby, will have his, uh, we have so many nicknames for him. He'll have his toys right there so he'll be happy. We have food for him. We have the movie. I'm ready to like rock Saturday out. At least Saturday morning. I don't know what to do the rest of my day though. Nat's back here. Hey Nat. What's up? Eating Dude, ice cream. Ice cream and watching Ruby. Yep. And rotting on my phone. Yep. I honestly think this is the first like weekend where it hasn't been like, oh, let's rush and rush and rush and rush and rush so that we can, uh, you know, have a few hours on Saturday or something to like have a weekend. And uh, we're actually like, I, I don't, I don't have things I have to do tomorrow. Enjoying the night. It's awesome. <sighs> I also think I need, I needed. A break with my nat.
look at this little St. Patrick's Day chupalo. Yeah, and <gasps> notice any similarities. What's that? So these sweaters, <laughs> the, both the sweaters and we've got shirts on underneath them. You need a little peek at them. We got, so we got married obviously the week before St. Patty's Day and uh, we were in New York and trying to get home like on St. Patrick's Day and we didn't have any green to wear. So we stopped and got these cheap like little green shirts and sweaters that we can't get rid of now because it, it was on our honeymoon. And anyways, it doesn't even quite completely fit like if I stretch my arms out too much, but. Yeah, the, co the collars <laughs> are too high. But it's our St. Patrick's Day clothing. And oh, he'd actually been wearing his hat for a while there. He couldn't figure out that he was supposed to keep it on, so... Where'd it go? Did it fall off? We'll put it back on. Here's your hat. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Oh, cutie. Eh, that needs to be flipped up, but we'll just leave it. We'll just leave it. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're now being a turd. Thank you. We'll wait to put it on you till we're actually leaving. You are still super cute. Anyways, I love the fact that these are cute on their own. <laughs> He's so mismatched. <laughs> but these are cute on the, on their own. But the, he matches with this. Well, it's just, I look down at the socks that we just threw on him and realize that blue shirt, which is cute. And it's like almost any two items could go together and then you put in these and colorful. <laughs> it is very cute and colorful. Man, it is a beautiful day outside. It's so nice to be going for a walk. The breeze is blowing. The sun is shining. Not a cloud in the sky. Look at this. It's gorgeous. There's a cloud over there. I see one. You lied. And <laughs> we're gonna go play Frisbee. We're gonna go play some Frisbee. Yeah. Frisbee. Sean and I have been talking about wanting to do a lot more parkour training again. Like the weather is getting nice and when you go out and you actually walk around your town or your city and you're like, oh, it's really nice out here. It's nice to be out and about. <laughs> Makes us think about training. And it's weird because the last time that we trained like really heavily was a few years ago when we were living in Utah. We trained like constantly, constantly. And uh, we're trying to ramp back up into that. It's like taking us a while to get our heads screwed on straight and like adjust to this new dynamic in our family of Tibbs being here and living in Colorado. And it's like, it feels like we're starting to get used to it now. And it's feeling a little more homely. Homey? Homely? Homey. 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 Homely means something different. What's up, homey? We had to come get little snacks. Hey, tip, tip. We got a little candy bar and a drink. It's his first time in a gas station. This little boy has been holding on to that water bottle. What a cutie. <laughs> Look at how Sean is walking with the stroller. <laughs> he says that those are his only two options. <laughs> He either short, looks like yo. he wet his pants or that he's a hunchback. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, I almost got it. Vlogging is hard while frisbeeing. Look at Chupa over here. Just playing with his water bottle. Got all his toys, just playing with his water bottle. This makes it look like we're much farther apart than we actually are. Like I said, it's hard to frisbee and vlog at the same time. Okay. <laughs> it's especially hard if you're married to Nat. Yep, you saw it. Good job. Good hustle. I'm getting better at this now. No. Oh, 
dun da dun. That is our, uh, that's our, fla our, uh, our frisbee yeah. placed there graciously by the gnat. Sorry. She thought that she could throw it through the tree to me. All right, go the gnat. That looks like a nasty tree to climb. Yeah, kinda. Uh, if I need to, we can, we can like toss up something at it. Like right, another frisbee. <laughs> How you doing there, Nat? You're not here making me laugh. <laughs> I mean, you're doing a good job, especially for going through one of those. I have a feeling you're gonna end up a little bit scratched up. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to keep an eye on the chupa behind me and the gnat in front of me. Uh, I'm coming back to the chupa for a second. How are you doing, chupa? I see that no matter how we try to entice you, you will not stay on that. We didn't, we're, we're not surprised, that's why we came. This is, out of the three different bugs we could have chosen, this is the clean one. The ground is actually safe to put him on. So uh, that's why we're at the one we're at. I think it's really funny, he's got all these over here, but nope, he just wants to load a bug. Yeah, I'm gonna check on your mom really quick. How's it going, Nat? Look at this. Can you see her in there? You're right up in there. <laughs> what a joker. You're a joker, Nat. <laughs> the tree. <laughs> the tree just looks like it's wiggling. She still lies to Nat Canberry. I'm like chasing this through the tree. This is so funny. Also, these pants might rip. <laughs> <laughs> where, where is it? Oh, it's over here now. Ah, get it, get it, fall out, make it fall out. Yes, yeah? you good? have succeeded, it is on the ground. Okay, can you see me? Yeah. Wow, I feel like I'm really high up. Yeah. <laughs> Am I like 12 feet up? Yeah, you're, you're decent ways up. Don't yeah. fall. Good job, I can't believe with it, that's pretty dense. I'm pretty surprised you made it yeah, as well. It's really crazy in here. Yeah. Face. And she emerges victorious. Oh jeez. I got Ish. a branch stuck between my legs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like trying so hard not to fall. <laughs> <laughs> Completely smacked you in the face if you fell down. Oh my gosh, that was so good. <laughs> and back to Frisbee. <laughs> Oh, I'm dying right now. Oh, it's too bright for that, too bright. You'll just have to look at me through shades. I'm just I was cracking up because Sean was just like saying all these obscure, like stupid things to me. And so I started like rapping back at him and I was freestyling and he goes, what's this after a couple of minutes? And I said, it's me. He goes, Do, should I know this song? He goes, who is this? I said, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Freestyling. Ain't no crying. Ain't got time for your somethings. I, got, I ain't got time to come up with good lines. <laughs> ain't got time to come up with good lines. You know, we always like the thrills and we always like the chills. And there goes a jeep. Beep, beep. <laughs> um, thank you for joining us today. Um, come back tomorrow if you liked it. Okay, uh... Subscribe and share. Good night. If you liked it, subscribe. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you liked it, comment.